Very good morning, dear students. Dear children, in fourth standard, we have completed six chapters. Now I shall proceed to the seventh chapter. The name of the chapter is decimals. Dear students, again and again, you start practice the all the six chapters because those are all chapters are very important for your higher classes. Now I shall proceed to the next chapter. It is decimals. Dear children, you may use some words or some numbers like suppose if we are asking, dear students, what's your height? You may say that, sir, my height is 5.4 or 3.8 feet. So 3.8 feet. Suppose if you are asking, what is your weight? So you may give the answer like this, 28. 0.5 kg 28.5 kg suppose when you are visited to any so mall to purchase your dress they may ask you what is your what is the size of your shirt or what is the size of your trouser so it may be 1.5 meter or 1.3 meter. So observe dear children, these are all the numbers 3.8, 28.5, 1.5 and 1.3. These numbers which are having decimal point, the numbers are having decimal point dot. Those are called as decimal numbers or decimals. Decimal numbers or decimals both are same only. So dear children, in this chapter, you are going to learn more about decimals. What is mean by decimals? How to read the decimals? How to write the decimals? Expanded form of decimals. Many more points you are going to learn here. It's very important dear children. So be attentive while watching the lesson. Okay. Dear students, directly I am proceeding to the my practice time. This first page number. So I would like to take the my first exercise 95 and 96. So these are very simple questions and also very important questions. Dear students, First, I would like to explain what is the place value chart, how to write the place values of decimals. Now, I should take the exercise part question and answers. So, you may take 123.653. 123.653. So, here 123. This is called as whole number. Which number? Whole number. And this after decimal point, the numbers are written, it is called as decimal number. Decimal number. The point, this is the point, it separates whole number and decimal number it is called as decimal point decimal point dear yeah, children decimal point is very simple a dot it is not comma a dot it is indicate that it is a decimal point whole number point you should write left of the decimal point and the decimal numbers you should write it right side of the decimal point so now i should proceed to the place values so place values for these numbers observe dear children so 123 point 600 sorry 653 so this is decimal point after the first place it is ones the next place b it is tens 
the next place is hundreds so one stands hundreds thousand ten thousand it comes regularly in the left side now we come to the decimal places the first place is tenth tenth or you can say that it is tens out of ten how many places how many parts are taken so the second one is it is hundreds hundreds so here it is hundreds here hundred next the third place is thousands thousands so likewise you are telling the decimal places also there is no ones place after decimal point dear children in the right side it start from tens hundreds thousands ten thousands lakh likewise the decimal places will come so now i directly enter to the my practice time first one observe this it's very important and also very interesting you are going to color here dear children so what is the main they have given like this they have given a square grid observe i am i'm going to show you the square grids here some points some squares are shaded colored you need to write how much part is colored in the second main you only going to color but the questions they have given in the down okay observe dear children the first main is write the decimal fraction write the decimal fraction decimal fraction is nothing but decimal number itself okay so here each row there are 10 rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and also 10 columns so there will be 10 rows and also 10 columns so this is the first one the second one third one fourth fifth sixth 7 8 9 and 10 observe dear children so there are 10 rows and 10 columns are there here 1 2 3 3 plus 3 so 3 rows plus 3 so this first row has shaded colored the second row also colored and the third row also colored completely colored in the fourth row so only three squares are colored now you write what is the decimal fraction the decimal fraction dear children so zero point it is 100 place how many squares are shaded it is 10 plus 10 it is 20 30 31 32 33 so that 0.33 33 squares are shaded likewise remaining two also you please complete dear children okay now i shall proceed to the second main second main they have given the square grid but shade the squares to represent the given decimal fractions they only given 0.73 you need to shade 73 squares square grids in the first one okay so here draw 10 rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and also 10 columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 
eight, nine, and ten. Yes, students. Here also I have drawn ten rows and ten columns. So zero point seven three. How many square grids you are going to shade? You need to shade seven three. That means seventy three square grids. So in the first row there will be ten squares. So shaded. In the second row again ten. It has become twenty. Next in the third row it is thirty. Fourth row it has become forty. And fifth row it has become fifty. In the sixth row it has become sixty. And in the seventh row it has become seventy. So after seventy. One, two, and this is the third one. So zero point seven three out of hundred seventy three squares are shaded. But when you are reading, you should always see zero point seven three. Don't say that seventy three zero point seven three three. It is wrong one. So I hope you will finish the remaining questions in the page number. It is ninety five only. Now I shall proceed to the next main. These are very very important, dear children. Please observe. So what is on the third main? It is write the following decimals in words. They have given the decimal numbers in numerals. You need to write it in words. So write. It is the third main. Write. The following decimals into words. So the first one is A nine point six four B nineteen. Point one two three C zero point one one D six point four four four. Observe, dear children. You need to write these are the decimals given in numerals only. You need to write it into words. So it just just how you are reading. In the same way, you just write it. Nine point six four. How to write twenty? It is just twenty. That means, if you are going to read in the same way, you are written. So similarly, how to read this one? Nine point six four. Write it like that. Nine point six four six. Four. Dear children, nine point sixty four. It is wrong way of saying the decimal numbers. You should always say after a decimal point, it should be. You should tell in the digits itself. Don't say. Don't combine the number and give the answer. Okay. Next is come to the second one. It is. Nineteen point one two three. It is not nineteen point one twenty three. Nineteen point nineteen point one two three one two three. Don't say that it is one hundred twenty three. It is one two three only. Next is. Zero point one one zero point one one. It is not zero point eleven. Zero point one one. So it should it should always clear that zero point one one. It is not zero point eleven. So by mistake you are doing the, these type of mistakes. You don't do that one zero point one one. Next is six point four 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 six point four four.
फोर अगेन फोर सिक्स पॉइंट फोर 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 दिस इज द राइट वे ऑफ राइटिंग द डेसिमल्स इन टू वर्ड्स द फोर्थ मैन इज दे हाउ गिवन इन वर्ड्स यू नीड टू राइट इट इन टू द न्यूमरल्स ऑब्जर्व इट इज द फोर्थ मैन now i am proceeding to the next mind it is fourth mind write the numerals observe first one is 2.2.2 3 tens so next b 0.006 0.006 next to c 45. Forty-five point three five. Observe here, children. Here only, in front of these words, you write the answer. So first one, two point two point two point. How much? It is three tens. Two point. Three tens. If three tens is nothing but it is three only because two point three. It is the place value is it is tenth itself. So that three tens. That's it. Next zero point zero zero six. Zero point zero zero six. Observe here, children. Zero point zero. Zero six. Now we are going to forty five. Forty five point forty five point three five. It is three five. So like this, you write the words into numerals. This is about fourth main. Remaining questions also you did. You please complete. Dear children, next main is according to its place values you. Fill in the given blanks. It is a fifth main. It's also very simple main. Fill in the blanks. Observe here, children. A zero point five eight, which is equal to dash ones. Dash tens, dash hundreds. See the second one B. So zero point three, zero point three is dash ones, dash tens. Next C, thirty-one point eight dash tens dash ones dash tens. Next, so likewise you write it. So I am taken only three questions. You please observe. Dear children, fill in the blanks. So here, how many ones? How many times? How many hundreds? How many thousands? Or hundreds? Are there? You just see it and tell. Here, this is whole number part. It is decimal part. So how many ones are there, children? There is only zero ones. Zero ones. Then how many tens? This is the ten. The next place is hundred. So five tens are there and eight hundreds. There are five tens and eight hundreds. Next, you come to the second one. Here, zero ones. The place.
place value this is about whole numbers it is ones zero ones and how many tens are there the tens are three tens are there okay next you come to the next another one third one how many tens t e n s tens so ones this is tens there are three tens and one ones three tens one ones is nothing but 31 three tens means 30 plus one becomes it is 31 how many tens are there it is eight tens are there so like this you write the remaining questions you choose first write the place values if you not understood write the place values whole number parts ones tens hundreds decimal parts tens hundreds thousands you write the place values and fill according to the blank given so now i should proceed to the next main write in expanded form write the decimal numbers into expanded form it's very important dear children write in expanded form I think it is sixth main. Write in expanded form. The first one is a seventeen point three nine B. It is nine point zero zero one C so I would like to take three questions sixty four point nine eight one sixty four point nine eight one observe dear children so first is you write the whole number parts that it is seventeen point three nine so how to write 17, how to expand 17, so you are expanding 7 into 1, that means 7 ones are there, plus 1 into 10, so 1 into 10 is 10 plus 7, so like this, 10 plus 7 is 17, so 17 you can expand, there will be 1 tens are there, plus 1 tens are there, plus 7 ones are there plus this decimal point also it is indicated by plus how many tens are there there are three tens three tens expressed as three into one by ten so tenth is nothing but one by a ten okay how many tens are there it is three tens plus Next is it is 100 place. How many hundred are there? 9 into 1 by 100. 9 into 100. So in another step also you can write. So likewise you can write. So this is 1 into 10 is 10 plus 7 into 1 is 7 plus 3 into 1. This 3 is multiplied to 1. So 3 by 10 plus this 9 is multiplied to pure 9 into 1 is 9 by 100 this is the expanded form dear children observe 10 plus 7 plus 3 by 10 plus 9 by 100 is the expanded form of 17.39 so in the same way you can expand 9.00 1 so 9 plus this point indicates that it is plus only so how many tens are there there is 0 by 10 plus again 100 it is 0 by 100 plus how many thousands are there only 1000 that is 1 by 1000 so if you simplify and write 9 plus Dear children, 0, 0 by 10 is nothing but 0 only plus again 0 by 100 is 0 plus 1 by 1000. So it can also be written as 9 plus 
1 by 1000. So, this is also right answer. Okay, now we come to the next one. It is 64.981. 64.981. How many tens are there? 6 tens. That is 60 plus. How many ones are there? Only 4 ones. 4 plus. How many tens are there? 9 tens. 9 by 10 plus 8. How many hundreds? 8 hundreds. So 8 by 100 plus how many 1000 are there? There is only 1000. So like this you expand the decimal numbers. Decimal numbers. Tens means 1 by 10. Hundred means 1 by 100. Thousands means 1 by 1000. 10,000 means 1 by 10,000. Likewise, you can expand the numbers. Dear students, now I should proceed to the last main. It is 7th main. The 7th main is write as decimal number. They have given in expanded form. You write it in decimal form. That is standard form. Okay, write in decimal number. Write in decimal form. Observe. So this one, A is 4 plus 7 by 10. B, 5 plus 3 by 100. C, 40 plus 2 plus 4 by 100 and D, last one it is 900 plus 10 plus 3 plus 7 by 10. Observe. So here there are 4 questions. Remaining question, dear students, do it yourselves. These are very easy questions. Look at here. So, 4 plus 7 by 10. 4 is in whole number part. 4 point. If it is there, in the denominator it is 10. It, it is understood. It is 10. So, the first 10th place will come in the first place. So, 4.7. Answer is 4.7. 4 is in the whole number part. Point. If the, in the denominator, if it is 10, it is 10. In the denominator, if it is 100, it is 100. If it is 1000, it is 1000. Now we come to the next one. 5 point plus indicate that it is point 3 by 100. Where is the 10th place? 10th place not given. If it is not given, write the 10th place as 0 and the 100th place is 3. So 5.03. Now we come to the next one. So this is the answer. 40 plus 2. It is whole number. So 40 plus 2 is 42 plus plus. This plus indicates that it is 0.4 by 100. Dear children, here also there is no 10th place. So write 0 in the 10th place and in the 100th place the 4 is there. So 42.04 is the answer. Now we come to the fourth one. It is 900 plus 10 plus 3. 900 plus 10 is 900. 10 plus 3 it is 13.7 by 10. It is 10. You write it in the first place. It is 7. 913.7. Yes, students, in the main practice time first. It is there in the page number 95, 96 and 97. You please complete the remaining questions. Okay, I hope you will finish. In the next class, I am going to explain the next exercise part. Okay, thank you everyone dear students. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.